Okay, I'm losing daylight here, so I'm going to try to wrap this up. This arrow here, or this fletching, is uh, taken directly out of uh, Jim Ham's book, Encyclopedia of Native American Bows, Arrows, and Quivers. I just want to give you some dimensions on this. It's copied straight from the book, as far as dimensions go. Now these are uh, turkey tail feathers, and with these, it's given a, uh, a quarter twist, so that the front of the feather is aligned with the knock here, but then instead of taking out that uh, twist or whatever in the actual feather, it kind of goes with the flow. And the quarter twist is put in there. And I believe that's the way it is in the book. These tail feathers are not curved very much to begin with. But uh, there is a slight curve as you can see. That was not taken out. And I put a quarter turn in, in, the, uh, in the fletching. As you can see, they're trimmed very close to the shaft. You can kind of see from the uh, tape measure how, how wide these are. The uh, typical Eastern Woodland arrow had a bulbous type knock. The uh, fletching was kind of far away from the end. Plenty of room for your fingers and uh, held down with sinew. Now these are wrapped backwards. So the wrap on the on the back side was done first and then it's folded over forward. But the, I've seen them done both ways where they're flat or bent back. Okay so to get back to the, uh, the first one I did on the previous video, this one here, I went ahead and trimmed it a little bit because it was kind of raggedy. I just, you know, this is just for for the video itself. I'll probably, well, uh, this arrow is not even straightened, so I'm, I'll take these off later. But I just wanted to show these for the video. This uh, wrapped flat like this. And with the uh, what I call the outside of the feather facing outward, but the other two I've done I've done the other way, where the the dull side of the feather is facing outward. They also tend to bow out, as you can see. Either way you wrap it, it'll bow out. But these are just a little bit easier to, you know, wrap down uh, on the ends because they're not, you know, bending toward the shaft. Now you can pull these much tighter to get them to lay flat, or you can wrap them in the middle. That'll also keep them down flat. They do make noise when they're like this. No, they're noisier than regular glued down fletching. The biggest difference is when you look at the... Uh, when you look at it from the end, it almost looks like there's four fletches on that. Whereas on the uh, the other one, it looks like it looks more like two. So this one's going to produce more drag. This one here, with the feather, with the dull side facing outward, which is useful with the shorter feathers. With the smaller feathers, you want to. You know, make sure you have enough stability or enough drag on the arrow with a small feather. So, I'd recommend with the smaller feather to put the dull side outward. You can still see a lot of the, you know, the nice side of the feather. Anyway, when you look, it looks like there's almost, almost looks like there's four fletches on there. So that produces, you know, 
a good amount of drag and stability at the back of the arrow when using a small feather. Hope that's in focus. Okay. And I, I went ahead and trimmed these also. They're, it's not nearly as trimmed down as the one that's taken from the book as an example. You can see that they're trimmed way down. They're not left pointed like this. I would, in, in order to uh, make this look like a like an authentic arrow, I would, you know, trim much more of this fletching off, much more of the feather off, and not leave it pointed like this, but rather round it off at the back. So this is more like the authentic style. Slight helical twist in the way they mounted the arrows, I mean the feathers. Cut down really short. This is just the fast way that I do it. This is just my take on it. I, I would leave it like this for my own use. Just because it's quicker. It looks kind of cool. The fact that this part of the uh, feather is removed, you know, helps to uh, see the nice part of the feather. I don't know if that's the, why they did it or not, but there you go. That's the that's my take on the Eastern Woodland style two fletch. This one looks a little long on this side, so I'll just trim it. Very quick. Looks pretty cool. Okay, that's it.